Hello. Hi, Taurus. <clears throat> Hello, Taurus. Welcome into my channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. About to get some messages for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021 ahead. So we're gonna be taking a look at what's coming up for you in June and what you're leaving behind. Just an overall perspective. This is a general reading covering love, finance, relationships. And so it may not apply to everyone. All the messages may not apply to you, but take what does fit for you. So use these messages as healing messages, okay? Messages for clarity in times of uncertainty. So let's get a look at what's coming up for you in your June forecast. So we have the 10 of Pentacles, Taurus. And it's always a good card to see whenever I'm doing Taurus reading. The Ten of Pentacles really feel like your energy, right? I'm feeling good. It feels like joy and celebration. It feels like wealth. I feel like some of you could be getting a new job or starting a new business, a new source of income in the month of June coming up. So that's great to look forward to. It's something that you've been working on manifesting. Some of you could be artists. Um, you work with your hands. Very, very creative energy. And look at this. Two more pentacles card. Again, Taurus, for you, beautiful energy. The six of pentacles and seven of pentacles. It's like you're really stepping up in the month of June in your finances. You're being of service. I feel like you're creating more. I feel like you have a lot of things that you've created and you're just ready to sell them. You're ready to get them out there. And this could be ideas or physical creation. It could be artwork. I'm feeling artwork like you're a painter, a designer or something. And you're ready to put your art on display. You're ready to be of service. There's a gift coming in. Some of you could be receiving gifts as well. And you're waiting for this. Or maybe you have a couple orders and you're waiting to get payment. I feel like in the month of close to the end of june or maybe in early july you'll be getting your rewards that's harvest season All right, let's put these cards closer so that you can keep on examining them All right, let's get closer further into your reading wow the world card amazing energy tars so something brand new coming into your world i feel like there's a shift some of you could be traveling relocating someone could be coming into you as if just this new opportunity with the new month coming ahead i do feel like um it's an opportunity for you to visualize to dream of the world that you wish to create and to really start working toward it here so that it can manifest it's an opportunity to bring newness into life in the june july months is when we see a lot of butterflies coming into being right right so that's the time when we are like or the transformation is evident in our world so i see i feel like something is going to become very prominent evident and it in your world in june coming into you and it has a lot to do with your money taurus likes to feel financially secure so that's always a good look now we're going to take a look at your challenge what is your obstacle what's keeping you from really attaining well not keeping you but some kind of a challenge that you're facing coming up in june or is facing right now is the page of cups energies could be something having to do with love or romantic love connection could be with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio someone may want to offer you love maybe someone wants more from you but maybe you're really focusing on your business focusing on your spiritual attainments here taurus maybe wanting to take some time off to yourself but someone i feel like you have a love connection with a water sign and it somehow has something to do with uh you, you working on your dreams as if this person may require more of your time and you're not sure how to give it to them. Uh, let's look at what is the... Oh, I feel like you're very smart, sharp, witty, quick, very wise, intelligent, maybe for your age too. That's the energy I'm getting. Like you're very sharp for a young person, right? I feel like you could rule over worlds. That's the energy as if you've been blessed with the gift of wisdom, of intelligence, of higher knowledge. 
with the ace of swords card here and so that's what you're building your foundation on it keeps you stable as if you feel like you'll always find a way out you're very smart that's the energy from the ace of swords energy and it's a gift like you've been gifted with this wisdom like you know more than many people with the world card and the ace of swords i feel like you are like you are born into as if you've ascended into this time a time that is earlier than your time it's that energy i'm getting it's so powerful as if you came here on in this dispensation of time taurus to to lead that's energy um, energy that i'm feeling for you <clears throat> as if sharp it's like a king I'm, i i promise you we have the crown at the top of the sword here it's like a king energy not i don't feel a prince i feel like a true king that has come through in this time in this world now to uh, to be focused on i don't know you're as if you're here to give something and it's it has something to do with your knowledge your intelligence okay like you're very sharp you know how to focus you know how to manipulate energy around you too just by your force there's something about your force of focus your intention that is able to bring things into your life and maybe you don't know this yet okay let's see what you're moving past for the month of june but in june you'll know oh my i want to cause but i will not i will i will uh contain myself this is why i love reading tarot it's so beautiful look all right so this is a past energy right you're moving past so i feel like you could be feeling abundant now especially with the six of pentacles card here that's feeling good inside and out let's get into this the six of, the ace of pentacles is knowing your value innately i feel like you're a very sturdy minded person you know who you are you know that's the energy that i'm getting taurus very beautiful you have a beautiful spirit. I mean, you don't take take things to heart. I feel like you are lighthearted. You you forgive because you as if you are from a higher place. You see things from a higher perspective. As if you can understand that if someone hurts you, you understand that that's how it goes. You're very loving. You're so beautiful. I love your energy. Thank you so much for coming through, Taurus. I hope you're finding messages here that resonate with you person that I'm reading for. Thank you for being here amazing so i feel like maybe an abundance came into you could be an inheritance some of you could be getting a new job or has found a job that you're working on now it could be working with someone else but it's like a job a promotion something that is going to increase your stream of income i feel like it is already in your world and then it is really in the future that you're going to uh see it multiply that's the energy can multiply let us look at your highest aspirations or the highest endeavors what the situation for you can be the highest possibility of it in june we have the queen of wands card taurus aries leo sagittarius fire sign this is also the card of being established in business Using your intuition, your groundedness, your sense of self, just to to, to have, ooh, I'm seeing something I've never seen. To start a business before, I, I feel third eye vision too. When I look at there is a little triangle here that I've never noticed before. It as if it surrounds her. You're as if I feel you're very magical. That's the energy. I feel magician energy. You know how to bring something forth into your world. You know how to manifest what it is that you want. As if you you lead, as I said, from a higher perspective, Taurus. Beautiful energy. And this could be someone else too, a motherly figure. I feel a very beautiful woman, dark-skinned, um, very passionate, energetic here. Um, a person that is in tune with nature and it is in tune with the mysteries of life magic that's what i'm saying with the black cat energy do you see that tars i want okay perfect i love that so you have all that it takes to listen a lot is coming in for you so let's look at what what to really expect now um that's coming out for you in the future the two of swords it came in the reverse i feel like allowing something to flow it did come in the reverse and when it's in the reverse it's saying 
you know you're not blocking you're, you don't have a lot of boundaries right now you're just being free flow that's the energy and i feel it's confidence too it's as if you're trotting in confidence you're not really fussing being too picky asking for much because as if you know what it is as if as i'm saying as if you know who you are and so you're not you're not easily, easily triggered that's the energy your toe is not your corn is not easily crushed you're confident you're clear you can laugh things off you can forgive some of you are also aligning with your intuitions very very look when i see the queen of wands and the two of swords it feels like a powerful unification of energy coming together here it can be something that has to do with magic it feels like being able to really focus your energy intentionally and align it with a creative spirit like uh, your passion, your desires, your wishes, and being able to focus to bring into this world what it is that you want. Did you know you have these powers? I feel like you're powerful. Look at this. It fe this feels like the person from um, Wolverine X Men, the one that if he takes off his the glasses or whatever, then the the this this the lasers come out of his eyes. <laughs> So it's almost like you're, you're a powerful person in hiding in society. This is the real raw you in your power here. And then this is you that has to act normal in a, in a world full of average normal people. <laughs> oh my God. Otherwise, I see something beautiful coming into your life. Amazing abundance. I want you to take this in. All right, let us continue. Let's see where you're at. Okay, we have the three of pentacles. Maybe you're going to be taking a break from work. Very little of you will be taking a break, I feel. Could be. As if you have gathered up your pentacles, your abundance has already come in. And so you're looking to take a break and to really dive into your intuition. Tapping into your powers. Maybe wanting to go, like, go off and be alone for a while. Alright, let us see what... But maybe uh, like working here, I see you are working on things creatively. So I do feel you'll get the admiration, you'll get some attention for work that you're doing coming up in June. Definitely. And it's bringing in income for you. Let's look at your home situation. <laughs> look at this, the eight. So I said you have the six, seven, and now the eight of pentacles stars. Definitely you're working, focusing on your dreams, your vision. This is also you working on your sense of self, your value, your innate value, loving on you. You're happily working. There's a lot of pentacles out here. Naturally, we're dealing with the earth. You're an earth sign and the pentacles represent earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Some of you may be affiliated or associated with an air sign. I'm getting the the um the feeling that this air sign energy is a business, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be you. Uh, I don't know. It feels like you're gonna maybe. I feel like something powerful is coming into your life, Taurus. Amazing. So in your home, you're really working here, working maybe working at home, setting up a platform for yourself. I feel social media vibes. I feel Instagram energy here, putting your work on this. Play. people can see people are going to come around and start admiring and appreciating sorry about the light my battery um is going so people are coming around and appreciating the work that you're doing look at this and and i feel like it's definitely an online platform that you have set up and let us look at your let us look at your hopes your fears oh amazing i feel like that is fitting Aquarius energy. I was saying I feel like you're affiliated with an Aquarius and air sign here with the swords. I feel like it's a, a duty that you have to perform. Hopes and fears. The star card is a card of balance and healing, wishing, hoping as well. Um, hoping for rejuvenation. I feel like hoping for redemption, ho hoping to be accepted, hoping to be the best of yourself, to be the best of yourself every day. That's the energy too. I want to say, I can't say that. I don't, I'm not going to say. I feel like chosen. I feel like you're a chosen one. That's the energy. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel you're so blessed. Like your angels are around you. You're a very guided person. And you're here to offer guidance to many people. That's the energy. Beautiful. With the star card, you can lead by example as well. All right. Be direct. I feel like the person who you are, you may feel alone sometimes or not accepted. But I feel like it's not a deterrent for you. Acceptance from others is not deterring you from being who you truly are because you know who you are and it's in your soul with the pentacles, the ace of pentacles and the star card. I feel like you know who you are within your soul and you don't have to try to tell people who you are. Some of you could definitely be coming into alignment with a with a with um, an Aquarius. Let's see what the outcome is for you, Taurus. Beautiful energy. Oh my God. We have the Eight of Swords for your outcome. We're definitely going to have to clarify this. The Eight of Swords, because we keep on seeing this Aquarius energy here for you. It could be a past connection with a, a love, some attachment to your past, strings attached, um, a due to something you're bound to. I feel it's also like staying on your path fulfilling your life mission as if i feel it's destiny like destiny something that you have to do something that you feel like you have to do listen that is the direction this reading is going in so even though we're seeing she's bound but i feel like it's more like destiny when it shows it presents itself with the star card here something that you have to do you're on purpose you're in your purpose here on earth I feel like you're, you're creating some kind of a balance here in the way you give, in the way you, you're able to give to others without asking, in the way you give of yourself, even give into yourself too, knowing who you are, knowing how to take care of yourself, your mind, because your mind, I feel in this time, Aquarius, I'm sorry, hmm, Taurus, your mind is a very powerful tool and I want you to protect it. That's the energy I'm feeling for you. Protect your mind, your peace of mind, protect your intelligence. I feel like if you have to go back to school and study, do so. Um, don't let, don't feel trapped because look, this is your intelligence and sometimes the eight, the eight of swords can feel like someone you're feeling trapped here not knowing what direction to move forward in but you have all that it takes within you to get through any feelings of stuckness i feel like this is a challenge that you'll be going through coming up in june honestly it could be june august so i feel like you're going through a transitional stage in june and maybe in august there's a test that's coming out at the end for you Okay, so in June, you're definitely working. Um, and then in August, something is going to come out that's going to, I feel, challenge you to know who you are. Let's see. Any clarifications for the Eight of Swords? Thank you so much, angels, spirits, and guides for being here in this reading for Taurus. Thank you. Releasing another Pentacles card. I feel like releasing, turning burdens to light. This is my turn your burdens to light card, Taurus. The page of pentacles. It's a, ah, I was saying maybe studying. Because this is kind of um, going back to school, studying. So this could be you on lockdown, studying. Um, studying. Getting more information about yourself. Learning more about your, your gifts. I feel you need to sharpen your intellect too because you're a very smart person. Um, maybe sometimes you feel a bit trapped in your past energy, past experiences. And maybe that's what you need to, re to fully release and heal with the star card here. It calls for healing for you. But I feel like something powerful is on the horizon for you. On the horizon, something about to happen, a breakthrough, a celebration. I feel like you do have guidance. Like people have hold you within their hopes, their hearts, something to celebrate coming up for you. I just said on the brink of celebration, didn't I? And then the three cups is celebration, fulfillment, wish fulfillment. I want to take a look at your challenge. Angels, spirits, and guides, thank you so much. Help me to clarify the page of cups, the challenge card for Taurus. Why is the Page of Cups in Taurus's challenge? Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be intuition. It could be, it doesn't have to be another person. 
can be your spirituality the wheel of fortune card mm, blessing whoa blessings oh my gosh wheel of oh my gosh what am i going to title this video i don't know hmm. the wheel of fortune fellow i said blessings for you and it came with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups amazing beautiful ten of pentacles repeated i mean like beautiful new beginnings of i feel in june a lot of transformations like the sun is going to be shining on you you're going to be blessed that's the energy i'm feeling blessings in your family healing you're going to be one that heals childhood traumas faster than the average person that's how i'm feeling redemption re like re liberation with the wheel of fortune and so when you clear out old energy stars it's going to bring in newness the 10 is one and the one is that new beginning it's the ending the 10 but it's new beginning and i feel it's like that jesus christ energy i said earlier with the three the 10 is that the beginning and the end and you're and it's i'm speechless the wheel of fortune energy is coming is bringing in all of this for you like so amazing and it's clarifying the the page of cups and i was talking about your spirituality and some blessing some blessing spiritual blessing because the fish is something spiritual here Spir some spiritual blessing coming into you that's going to, it could be information oh the queen of pentacles it could be information that's going to cause you to use your intelligence tapping into your true power your sharpness and it's going to help you to maybe establish a business maybe you're going to be the one to make your family happy if you're married you're, you're are you're gonna st get married it's possibly to a water sign here repeated cancer pisces scorpio someone wants to come in and love you <laughs> i love it thank you so much thank you so much Doris. This reading has been a blessing for me. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. All right. Someone finds you attractive. I just said someone wants to love you. Um, I don't know who is single. You could be single right now. And maybe someone wants to come into you that finds you attractive. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could strongly be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And we're going to end it here. If you want to support this channel or for future readings or personal readings, please check the description box. In other to support my channel in other ways you can subscribe to my channel and like this video much appreciated always remember Taurus that you are all and all is within you much love thank you so much and I'll see you next time bye